what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so i haven't done one of these in a while but uh we, we've got to try uh about to try glenn dronich 12. now this is i wasn't able to get to the store that i'd like to go to to get my normal selection from oh i like this bottle i love the color of that great lord so i figured this been been recommended this one before so I figure you know what let's go ahead and get it so let's go ahead and take a pour ourselves a little bit so pour ourselves about that much right now Almost got spice to it. It's got a spicy, like it, it's grain. Almost, it, 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 I'm getting like grain and like a almost a, it's almost like a rye type spice on it. Getting some, getting some fruit. Almost a, it's almost like a creme brulee smell type uh, coming through. Almost getting like a creme brulee type uh, note, and I want to say plum almost. Ooh. Got a little heat to it. Got some nuttiness to it. Definitely get, man, I can't place the fruit, but you get a nice bouquet of fruit on the tongue, especially as it sits right there about the middle. Man, it's nice. getting some darker fruits on there but also brighter fruits when i'm used to from taking and tasting um some of the most recent scotches almost getting some like getting some nuttiness getting some strong bold like it's almost like a, a, a dark fruit flavor, almost, I guess you could say, or almost like a stone fruit type flavor, kind of like some plum in there, but also I don't know, it's almost like there's some it's almost like there's a bit of earthiness at the very front of it, but as soon as it washes past that, man, that's a
Okay, so far, I think of all the scotches that I've tried, whether they're on camera or the ones I had in Alabama that got me interested in, in scotch. This right here, I think the only thing that so far in my mind that beats this is the uh, classic Lottie from uh, Brewage, uh, what, Brewage Lottie? Like, this is like, this is so good. It's a little bit warm, though. I have to say that. A little bit hot. It's a little bit hot on the tongue. However, it, it's not like it's unpleasant. I bet a drop or two would open it up even more. Got some, a little bit of earthy notes up there at the front. I, I can't place it. It's almost like fresh cut grass, but it gives way quickly. And I say fresh cut grass, but it's more, it's not really that. It's more of like a, really a spice almost. But I, it, I can't take and place the spice. But that, that gives way to like plum and uh, almost, I, I don't want to say kind of like cherry and maybe a little bit of pomegranate almost. But it's, it finishes off with a, a bit of nuttiness to it. And it's so nice, but the complexity to this and the way it just, oh, this is such a good, if I had to take and rate this like I rate beer, I would take and rate this a easy a 95 out of 100. This is, oh yeah, definitely like this one. Definitely like this one. Sorry for the intrusion. So there we have it. Glen, uh, the Glen Dronich 12. Oh, that's tasty. That's tasty. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.